Welcome to the Golden Bullets, the 2023 Bond Community Award. First of all, everyone out there, can you hear me? Can you hear me okay? Please leave a comment and let me know that the sound volumes are okay, that you can hear me. So I'm just going to stand here. And look, we have a special guest, Dudu, uh, <laughs> Luke's apartment here. We are live at the Village Brewery in Somerville, New Jersey. We have Joe, the Bond enthusiast, throwing chairs around. <laughs> here we go. We have Bond James Bond, San Diego 007, saying Russian clocks are always correct. We have 007 GB British James Bond fan club saying hi, Connor. First of all, can everyone hear me? If you could leave a comment and let me know whether you can hear me or not. You're good on sound and video. Oh, I'm good on sound and video. Well, thank you so much for joining me and also joining an awful lot of people. I'm going to risk screwing everything up and turn the webcam over here. And you can see we have many familiar faces from the Bond community all joining us. I am absolutely thrilled to be here thank you so much last year i thought wouldn't it be fun to have a little uh, a little award ceremony and it, it you know people liked it and this year we're doing it live and it's so much bigger and we have actual awards so david zurski and phil dewhurst they were the ones who came up with the idea of the golden bullet we have an obscenely large girthy golden bullet that the winners <laughs> will be awarded and we also have a number of categories to go through so through the night, I'm going to be, through the next hour, I'm going to be joined by guests who are going to read the different categories of the award. I think we might as well jump straight into it with the first one, which is Film of the Year. And to announce this is a very special guest, my wife, Tina Hume. There we go. I chose Tina for this particular award because there is nobody who knows movies better than Tina. There's a game you can play called Seen It where you have to like answer movie questions and she, every, people refuse to play with her because she knows movies so much. How are you doing, Tina? I am doing well. And it's lovely to see you. Hey, quick, give me a kiss. There we go. And right, so here we go. We have a little announcement here. Re okay. Start from here? Start from there. Ah, from where? Ah. It's been nearly five years since Daniel Craig hung up his Walther PPK. And during that time, the Bond community have been forced to look for thrills elsewhere on the silver screen. The Film of the Year Award was created to recognize the movies that connected especially powerful with the Bond fans in 2023. And keep us distracted as we patiently await the next installment of 007 Cinematic Adventures. This year, the nominees are Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning Part 1 from Paramount Pictures. John Wick 4 from Lionsgate. Oppenheimer from Universal Pictures. The Killer from Netflix. And the winner is, is before we do this, which one would you like to win? Ooh. Uh, I would have to say Oppenheimer. Okay, here we go. Open the uh, let me just sure everyone can see you as you open the envelope. No, uh, yep. Yeah. This is my drum roll. I'm running out of energy for the drum roll here. <laughs> okay, and who is the winner? Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. I can say that that one won by a landslide, which makes a lot of sense. They were all great movies, though. Tina, thank you very much. Um, I don't know how we're going to send Tom Cruise one of these, but <laughs> we'll figure it out, I don't Tom. To to do <laughs> <laughs> Tina, thank you so much. Okay, we will move on to our next category, which is TV show of the year. And we have a very special gentleman. Oh, thank you very much. Right, there we go. Yes, we're getting some help from David here to, to adjust the thing. Frank, come and join us. You may know him as Hans Gruber on Instagram. This is Frank. How are you doing tonight, sir? Okay, and you guys thought I was dead. They, they just <laughs> peeled me up off the ground. I'm still with you guys. Okay, you ready? All right. Yeah, I'm ready. All right. James Bond has graced us on the silver screen. Now, we got our Jason Kims out there, so I did a little fact checking, and there was an American actor named Barry Nelson who played the part in a 1954 television adaption of Casino Royale, which 
Ian Fleming was paid a cool $1,000 for the rights to CBS, which I guess kept them in cigarettes for <laughs> quite a bit. Um, like a week. But anyway, try to stay awake during that version. But there are adventure and streaming shows that channel the 007 spirit intrigue and adventure of our boy James. And the TV show of the year award was created to recognize the best of them. And here are the nominees. 007, The Road to a Million on Amazon Prime. Excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> Slow Horses, Season 3 on Apple Plus. Love that Jagger title song. Ah, make It So, Picard, Season 3 on Paramount Plus. And Reacher, Season 2 on Amazon Prime. Yeah, I've been... Working out a little bit. <laughs> About that reach your luck. Well, here we are. Before we open this, which one would you like to win? You know, I have not seen Reacher, but it is my favorite. Slow Horses is phenomenal. Uh, so let's see. Double O Seven Road to a Million on Amazon. Now I have to. It's funny because we had a lot of discussions. Some people weren't that keen on this, but it, it did win by a significant margin. So you know what? Everyone behind that show, the cinematography was beautiful. The music by David Arnold was great. So, yes. so there we go. That, the people have spoken. The James, you know, James Bond. The music is. That, that, I think that's the best part of that show. I'll tell you what, if you haven't watched it yet, you should watch Reacher. It's fantastic. Yes. You should watch it. Also, very good with your, your spin on, on the things. That's, yeah, you've got a knack for this. I think, I, yeah, I'll take some yeah. notes for next yeah. time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Well, thank you very much, Frank. And we will move on to our next ho, one. Ho, ho. <laughs> right. So, our next category. I am very excited about this one. We have Documentary of the Year, and I'm especially excited about the guests that we have to announce this one. Stanley, would you come and join us, please? So here is Stanley. You are a documentarian yourself. Uh, yes, I've got a little something I'm working on called Harlem on Film, basically showcases uh, what's been shot in East Harlem, Central Harlem, uh, and then any of the surrounding areas. So you'll see things from like American Gangster. Uh, you'll see things from Serpico, The Godfather. It's a trip down memory lane. It's the things that are sort of like, wait a minute, that was there. So whether you're a New Yorker or not, it's something that you'll enjoy. And uh, I promise you, it'll be coming. So, and in the interim, I've got a video coming out on the first, which will be my review of, of Road to a Million. Oh, oh I got and you'll be seeing that there. Well, so here we go. Right. Here is the thing. I wrote a little bit for you. If you want to spin on it, that's fine. Let me grab my champagne while we're here. Okay. This does not make me feel inadequate at all. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at this. Beautiful yes. golden bullet. <laughs> all right. Documentary of the year. As thrilling as James Bond fictional exploits are, sometimes the stories behind the scenes are just as fascinating. Try not to read. Too. The Bond Community Documentary of the Year Award recognizes the Bond-related documentaries that showcase the behind-the-scenes context for why the books and the films we love turned out the way they did and how the fictional character of James Bond has impacted the real world. This year, the nominees are The Other Fellow, directed and produced by Matthew Bauer, The Octopussy 40th Anniversary Celebration by Really 007, Icons Unearthed, James Bond by Vice TV. And the award goes to... Here we go. I put a trick envelope to just to trick you up. The other fellow, directed and produced by Matthew Bauer. I have to admit, this is a very close nomination. Really, 007 got a lot of votes, but I'm very excited. Now, I actually have a gentleman here who would like to accept this award on behalf of Matt Bauer. All right. So, so uh, yeah, you are tapped out. Is that broad as tapped out? <laughs> yes. Tapped up. Tapped up. All right. Very familiar face here. So here we have an award. And we have to stand in for Matt Bauer. It's got batteries. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't expect that. How embarrassing. 
Uh, so this is actually in the case that he won and he did. Uh, Matt Bauer wrote a little something for everybody. So this is adorable. So first of all, he says, well, this never happened to the other fellow. Thank you so much to the Bond community for this award. We set out via a documentary about real men named James Bond to make the kind of James Bond documentary that you had never seen before. Following the lives of innocent real men who have to contend daily with the incessant noise of the James Bond phenomenon. That sounds like you and me, <laughs> but our names aren't James Bond. Uh, that the rest of us love so dearly. The support of the Bond community has given our film has been incredible, and it's been a privilege to meet so many of you throughout the release of the film. Growing up in Australia, I was the biggest Bond fan I knew, but that has been dwarfed, I think that's a pejorative term, seeing the passion of so many of you, including a certain Swedish gentleman named James Bond. We know he's talking about half of Britain's most famous secret agent. From the UK community, he wrote a sonnet. From the UK community, I'd like to single out Mark O'Connell and AJ Chowdhury for their decade-long support of the film. And I don't want to embarrass him, but i particularly like to thank... Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to skip over that part. Nope. Um, I put something up on YouTube. All right. The film is available to watch for free on Amazon Prime Video in America Now and on ITVX in the UK from this Thursday. So if you haven't seen it, please check it out. And to finally, to roll in, there's a mention of you. And he hasn't even seen the number on the inside of your thigh. <laughs> it's his room number. Uh, to Roland for organizing this rather cool event. I wish I could be in Somerville with you all tonight. This is the hottest thing happening in Somerville. So think about that. Uh, Matthew Bauer, director of The Other Fellow. Oh, so man. nice. Thank you so much, David. And Matt, we wish you could be here as well. Right. Now I have completely moved on. So we need to get to the next envelope, which is, ooh, non-fiction book of the year and i have another very very special guest i would like to announce this neil hume oh no relation <laughs> so i would like to introduce you to neil hume which is spelt differently it's funny you are also british you live five miles from me we're no relation but yeah we've become fast friends ever since so thank you um you, you're in the industry well i worked in publishing but yeah so you were the perfect choice to do non-fiction book of the year here we go here is the okay for the non-fiction book of the year. Since Casino Royale, there have been nearly 60 novels published chronicling the fictional adventures of James Bond, but that number pales in comparison to the number of books written about him. The Bond Community Non-Fiction Book of the Year recognizes works of non-fiction about the character and mythos of James Bond published in 2023 that proved especially noteworthy within the James Bond fandom. And one by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Nice. <laughs> so this year, the nominees are Beauty of Bond by Jeff Marshall, Ian Fleming, The Complete Man by Nicholas Shakespeare, On the Train Tracks, filming Octopussy and Goldeneye at Neem Valley Railway. One second, Martin you have a Ant. very... I, I was at Neem Valley Railway when they were filming Octopussy. We went, I was obviously young. Um, we went on a school trip and we were told there was certain areas we weren't going to be get, able to go into and while we were there we got I think it was when we were having lunch or something we were in a field having a picnic and they said this is where just the other day they had catapulted a car over a train so we spent our time in that field looking for bits of cars <laughs> which when we looked look at the movie obviously it, it lands in the water so we probably won't get to find anything anyway <laughs> yeah so oh, that's that and now we have to get back to the final book and, yes and the final is be useful seven tools for life by arnold schwarzenegger can you do that in an austrian accent no okay and here we go the winner is <laughs> and the winner is uh oh oh you made this hard i did <laughs> Beauty of Bond by Jeff Martin. Unfortunately, Jeff was going to join us tonight, but he couldn't. But Jeff, here's your award. We'll be getting it to you. And Neil, thank you very much. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Next on the list, we have following nonfiction, makes a very logical move into fiction book of the year. And I would like to, uh, to welcome a writer himself, who I have a great amount of respect for, a very familiar face within the Bond community, Please join us, Joe Darlington, oh. being James Bond. Oh. How are you doing tonight, Joe? Thank you, thank you. How are you? Well, here we go. Fiction right. book of the year. Fiction book of the year, 
right? <clears throat> Here we go. <laughs> Today, over 4 billion people worldwide know the name James Bond, and yet it all started with a single fiction book penned by a former spy with a flair for the dramatic. The Bond Community Fiction Book of the Year Award was created to recognize the same incredible impact fiction books continue to have on society in 2023 and showcase the fiction books that Bond fans were instantly drawn to this year. The nominees are On His Majesty's Secret Service by Charlie Hickson, Zero Minus Ten Republished Edition by Raymond Benson, Look Out for the Little Guy by Scott Lang, and A Wild and True Relation by Kim Sherwood. And before we go on, I just want to say Kim Sherwood, who won Woman of the Year last year with, and also wrote book, she beat out uh, Jack Carr. So there that's, we go. Yeah, that's, that's pretty impressive. That's, not many right? people can do that. No, that's, pre- <laughs> that's, a, that's pretty impressive, isn't it? Here we go. And the winner is... <clears throat> on His Majesty's Secret Service by Charlie Hickson. That was a landslide victory. I don't think that's much of like that. But you read that. I, you I, I, it's on my shelf, and I have not got to it yet. Oh, it's a cracker. I, I, hear, I hear nothing but good things. Thank, Thank you, you so sir. much, Thank Joe. You. Oh. So, oh, well, I would really be honored to send one of these to Charlie Hickson, because, yeah, Charlie Hickson's a, an institution. Right, next we have Instagram account of the year, and I would like Mike Puklowski, the uh, culture yeah. of Bond, to come join us. <laughs> There is no such award, but he is in the running for best dressed man tonight. Mike, it is a great pleasure to see you. Thank, Thank you so much, Ronnie. Here we go. Before going further, when I was a little child reading certain magazines, I saw these advertised. <laughs> really? I never understood. What you kind know, of magazines you, were they? You turn it on for a healthful <laughs> massage, and I never understood why. Why would you do that? Anyway. <laughs> Okay, Instagram account of the year. You can find James Bond fans everywhere. You, you, you literally can. You literally can. But the photo and video sharing capabilities of Instagram have made it an especially appealing platform for the Bond community to use in coming together and sharing the unique things we love about our favorite fandom. The Instagram account of the year award was created to recognize the Instagram accounts that have made the most impact in 2023, either through their reach, their engagement, or the unique lens with which they examine the context and culture of 007. This year, the nominees are 007 GB. (laughs) Bond's Apartment. The Bond Experience. I've heard of him. Yeah. Somewhere. Really, double seven pod. And the winner is. Yes. And the winner is. I just need to get some real drums, I think. I have to do Johnny Carson. <laughs> okay. Where is he? Where is he? The Bond Experience. <laughs> David Zeritsky. Well, maybe David will come and join us and have a couple of words, or? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, get a picture of that. Oh. That is, uh, well, uh, yeah. Do not feed him drinks before he presents an award. No, thank you so much. It's uh, Instagram is a lot of fun. Uh, first of all, hats off to everybody else that was nominated. Really, I not only respect you, I follow you, you're the pinnacle of infotainment. So I accept this award for everybody else. There were a lot of people who voted in this and all of the others got a lot of votes, but, but at the end of the day, I mean, you post pretty much every day. So, you know, it's a sickness. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks everybody. Right. I'm just going to wet my whistle for a second. Right. The next episode is podcast episode of the year. Mark, can you join us? Mark's gone. Oh no. Well, we're gonna we're gonna factor in you. Come. Yes. Murray, I have another one for you to announce, so I'll get someone else to do that one. So you guys, if I hold up my hand and wave and I need someone to sub in, 
then I then already select silently amongst yourselves someone to be part. Lauren, Lauren is shaking her head that she doesn't want to be part of it. So, <laughs> so right. So in that case, here we go. Podcast episode of the year. You know, Vaughn fans naturally gravitate to the casual, long-form conversations of podcasts. And occasionally, there are specific episodes that really get the community talking. The Podcast Episode of the Year Award was created to recognize the individual podcast episodes that provided a really unique glimpse into the world of James Bond and kept us talking about them long after the episode was over. This year, the nominees are... Behind on His Majesty's Super Service, the Charlie Hickson interview from Really 007, Spymaster interview number 46, Denise Richards, and it's from Spy Hearts, episode 106, I Hope We Don't Frighten the Fish from the Bond Brain, with Raymond Benson and 0 minus 10 from Suda with Terrence Leahy. And the winner, the winner is. I just say that is a beautiful watch. Thank you. Sorry, distracted there. <laughs> right. Behind on His Majesty's Secret Service, Charlie Hickson interview from Really 007. That's Tom and the team. I'm not, I'm not going to accept this on behalf of my <laughs> Well, good job there. Excellent. So. Let's move on to the next award, which is Podcast of the Year. Joe, can you come and join us possibly? Oh. I got Joe just in the middle of a swig of water there. So here we have Joe, the Bond enthusiast. He put on his glasses because he means business. So I can read everything. Yep. <laughs> all right. Isn't that funny? I noticed tonight I was like doing this and I'm like, oh God, we're all going to have glasses. <laughs> Soon enough. Okay, long form and conversational. Podcasts are a natural fit for busy Bond fans who want to celebrate James Bond while doing other things. The Podcast of the Year Award was created to celebrate podcasters who consistently produced and published great James Bond content throughout 2023, keeping us all eager to listen to that next episode. This year, the nominees are The Bond Experience, <laughs> Spy Hearts Podcast, Really 007. The James Bond Complex. And the winner is. Oh, wait, no, no, no. You opened the envelope. Oh, it's it's interactive. I have the envelope. There we go. All right. Let's rip this thing in a drum roll. All right. Uh, the Bond Experience Podcast, Mr. David <laughs> So, so, David, how many of these do you want? Well, that was a mistake. <laughs> um, well, you got to realize the, the podcast came out of just some ranting and raving that wouldn't quite fit into my YouTube channel. Um, so it's, it's very philosophical. I'm surprised this one because the other nominations are really the ones that I work out to, I walk to, I aspire to be them. So my, my hat's off to all of you. And I will admit, this was a very... Give me my award. <laughs> <laughs> this, this was, uh, you know, they, they had, everyone else had a lot of votes. And in the end, we just, you have to, you know, my allegiance is to Republic. Democracy. democracy. What is that from? What is that from? I just tell me. I've had a beer or two. Uh, from Star Wars, Re Revenge of the Sith. Of course Sith. it is. Of course it is, being yeah. the, the Star Wars guy. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for voting. I appreciate it. Thanks for <laughs> Right. Next, we move on to article of the year, which I had assigned Murray to. Murray, do you want to sub someone in, or do you want to take it? Take it. Okay. You did such a great job the last time. You did do such a good job the last time. Here we go. Article of the year. Article of the year. For nearly 70 years, James has inspired thousands of writers to about their perspective on the 007 movies and books. Some criticize them, some slander them, but most celebrating the unique cultural contribution Bond has made. The Article of the Year Award was created to showcase some of the great articles written about James Bond in 2023. And this year, the nominees are Traveling Like Bond, Morocco, by Alex Lamas. Oh! Alex is with us tonight. We're just looking. 
Gazing at Bonds Through the Ages by David Lowbridge Ellis. Yeah. These, these are the best Bond films to watch now by Thomas Felix Crane. <laughs> Why Jack Carr is a must read for Bond fans by Caleb Daniels. Better yeah. known as Commando Bond. And who is the winner? We're just looking, gazing at Bond through the ages by David Lowen. Uh, I've read all four articles; they were all fantastic. This was a very, very competitive uh, thing, but David, very well done. I feel it's kind of obscene saying, "I'll be sending you one of these." <laughs> Two of you, good. Oh yeah, absolutely, Murray. Thank you so much. There we go, doing double duty there. Right. Next, we move on to, and unfortunately, he didn't win that award. So I'm very honored to welcome Alex up here to give the award for Writer of the Year. Alex, your article Hello. in Morocco was fantastic. Oh, thank you very much. And let me shake your hand. There we go. I'm shocked to be in the same category with those guys. Those, was, are, those are real writers. Three I'm not a writer. <laughs> Could have fooled me, mate. There we go. So here we go. Writer of the Year. Okay, writer of the year. There are many talented writers within the Bond community who have entertained, educate, and enlightened us about the world of our favorite gentleman spy throughout the year. The Writer of the Year Award recognizes bloggers, writers, journalists who have delivered regular and consistent written content throughout 2023, earning a bookmark on many of our internet browsers. This year, the nominees nominees are Bill Koning of The Spy Command, <laughs> Matt Spazer of Bond Suit, <laughs> David Lowbridge Ellis of License to Queer, <laughs> writer and journalist Mark O'Connell. And the winner is. And the winner is. I can't get this up much longer. <laughs> Ooh, Matt Spazer. Yeah. Hey, Matt. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right. Unfortunately, Matt couldn't be with a sniper. Matt, again, I'll be sending you one of these. Congratulations, Matt. Thank you so much, Alex. There we yeah. go. That was another very, very close and very, very competitive category. So, um, right. Next, we have video of the Clyde. Could you come and join us, please? <laughs> Give me time to take a quick signal. Clyde, how are you doing tonight? Good, how are you, Roll? I love that cardigan. Right, Thanks. here we go. Okay. Uh, thousands of videos about James Bond appear on YouTube every year, but only a few make an outstanding impact across the community. The Video of the Year Award was created to celebrate individual videos that brought special interest and attention to happenings within the Bond community and their impact on the world at large. This year, the nominees are John Glenn, Lifetime Achievement Award, 2023, by 007GB. The 007 Love Affair with, the, with Italy by The Bond Report. The Live and Let Die 50th Anniversary Celebration by the Bond Experience. And, and cue the music, James Bond concert, and celebrity, celebrity interview by the Bond Divine. Okay, so here's, open up the envelope. Okay, let's see. Okay. I'm going to stop doing that. I might introduce myself. <laughs> okay. if I get and the winner is, cue the music. James Bond concert celebrity interview. Oh, the Bond Divine. There we go. So here is the award. Thank you, Clyde. Thank you very My much. My pleasure, brother. Next on the list. Wow, we are powering through these. I'm very happy to say. We have, oh, I am so very, very stylishly dressed man tonight. Kyle, come and join us oh. for YouTube channel of the year. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good to see you, Roland. And you brought a special guest. This is I your day tonight. I brought, uh, I brought Dudu with me. Yeah. There we go. And uh, Dudu's been drinking a lot. I have to take a break. I mean, I'm glad I'm Dudu's designated driver. 
So here we go, an envelope. Remember the good old days when YouTube was like chocolate rain and sneezing <laughs> pandas and Charlie bit my finger, and now we have to watch some guy in Pennsylvania talk about jackets. But anyway, <laughs> James Bond movies have revolutionized cinema, and now social media has revolutionized how we celebrate James Bond. YouTube in particular has been instrumental in making the Bond community what it is today. And the YouTube Channel of the Year Award was created to recognize the YouTubers who consistently entertained, educated, and amazed us throughout 2023. This year, the nominees are The Bond Experience by David Zeritsky, <laughs> Bond's Apartment by Luke oh. Tagger, Really 007 by Tom Pickup, and Calvin Dyson by Calvin Dyson. Uh, sounds like an uh, cologne, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? Calvin Dyson. By Dyson Calvin. by Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> and a winner is. And a winner is. La La Land. <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope, that's wrong. I understood that reference. <laughs> the winner is the Bond Experience. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank right. you so much. Thanks, thanks. Stay. Okay. Congratulations. Over. This is cozy. But first of all, again, I'm going to say this, but I'm not placating anybody. The, the nominees in this category, I watch on a weekly basis. You know, Luke is consistent. Calvin has some of the best engagement. Calvin's make me laugh out loud. He's amazing. And, and seriously, these two guys are like my good friends. And Tom has like come out of nowhere. Um, then you got Dutch Bond fans. So this is like a very tough category i you know the nominations that must have come in and and, then, and i have to admit the floor in the nominations process is i'm just a guy my my circle is there i know there are people who like you know make it like yeah the dutch bond fan yeah like, makes amazing videos it's yeah uh, i so people have to understand when they're watching this please like this this is a great award and not so secretly i was just telling joe darlington like i really wanted youtuber because that's where i put my passion and creativity but on the other side, I'm a fan and I watch these people. Views from Mark is on here. I watch his stuff every single week. Like I sit there like biting my nails like I can't wait to see this. So I am a geeky fan of everybody that was nominated. So I'm really honored, honestly. But I also accept this for everybody else. And this is delicious. When you actually lick it, it gives you a little bit of a jolt. You're going to eat a tetanus. Well, I don't, I'm not going to put that there. That is just... Awful. So don't worry, we'll be giving David the licked one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Kyle, thank you so much. You, All right, time to wear my whistle once again. Mm. Right, next we have Newcomer of the Year. We do not have someone to read out this award. So very quickly, within the next five seconds, somebody has to be nominated from you. Go on. Oh, look, here we go. We have a volunteer. We have a volunteer. Troublemaker of a volunteer as well. Come on. Well, hello, you. Hello. How are you doing? Do I get another coat? No, thank you. Okay, fair, fair enough. Oh, right. maybe. Here we go. Okay. Newcomer of the year. Some James Bond content creators have carved their space over the course of a decade of hard work. But each year, newcomers arrive with a unique perspective about James Bond all on their own. The Newcomer of the Year recognizes the new content creators making a name for themselves in the Bond community. It's about Bond appreciation. Bond appreciation, Without absolutely. previous knowledge. <laughs> so, uh, or a newfound uh, appreciation for it, right? Absolutely. And the nominees are The Bond Report, Le Bon Touche, or Touch, Touch. I don't know. Is that, I think it's Le Bon Touch. Le Bon Touche. That's another cologne, Le Bon Touche. That's what that thing is. And that's how my wife died. I said Touche. You could have said something to rhyme with that. That would have been false. Always say yes to the adventure. This is Alex Lamas, who is right here with us this evening. The Red Vesper. Oh. And the winner is... We've got a drummer, 
the Red Vesper. Can you ask AKA Natasha Stone. That was a very, very, very competitive category. Tina, thank you very much. Thank you. Right. Okay. Oh, oh, yes, and Natasha, we will be sending you a golden bullet. Next, we have, oh, this is a good one. We're going to have a very familiar face joining us again. Brand of the year, and there is literally only one person in the Bond community, I think, who can read this one. David, would you please come and join us? Yeah. He's putting his grainy specs on. I want right. to present something. Yes. Here All we right. go. Because they're not reading glasses, so I'm going to take these off. All right. Uh, from his Aston Martin DB5 to his Tip Tree Strawberry Jam. Who wrote this? I think it was a writer. <laughs> James Bond has always demanded the best, showcased by the real-life products and brands featured in both Ian Fleming's novels and the Eon movies. The Bond Community Brand of the Year Award goes to the Bond-affiliated product or brand that made a real impact in 2023, giving us the opportunity to live the James Bond lifestyle in our everyday lives. So that's that's the category. Living the Bond experience, one moment at a time. I, that's uh, patented, and now I can <laughs> sue you. Uh, this year, the nominees are Matilde's Doo-Doo Bunny from No Time to Die. What, no applause? <laughs> the Octopussy Collection from All of Our Brown. Oh, the 2023 London Sock Exchange, <laughs> to which 95% of the people here are wearing those. Literally, literally uh, are. Literally. <laughs> I'd ask you to raise your leg, but then we're going to go, it's true. <laughs> I'm wearing a kilt, mate. If yeah. I raise my leg, then you're going to see. Yeah, uh, the, the German winky. Uh, <laughs> the GoldenEye Fleming Experiences in Jamaica. Wow. Right. I'm still getting over the Bond douche. <laughs> like, and that's not the name. It's Bond Touch or Tush. Push. Tush. As I tush? say in the Yiddish. Tush. What a tush. Um, and the winner is, wow, the GoldenEye Fleming Experiences, the GoldenEye Estate, Jamaica. Well deserved. They do a great job marketing themselves. And yeah, I could see them being the brand. And it goes back to the. I feel like everything went back to Fleming this year. This was the year of Fleming. Absolutely. So this makes a lot of sense. I mean, it was amazing. Sit Like Jack Carr posted a picture with his feet up on uh, like Ian Fleming's desk. So like this year they went, yeah, it is It is a destination now for all Bond fans. Jack Carr was so excited to be at that desk. Yeah. As a lot of us. I'm going to sit at that desk. No, no, no. You will be sitting at that desk in 2024. I, yes. Yes. Spoilers alert. All right, back to you. Go Thank you very much, David. Job. Killer. Right. <laughs> Next on our list, we have Ken. Would you join us, please, Ken? Oh. One of the best dressed men in the Bond community, oceanographer, because you have your whole style is one of my favorite movies is the remake of Ocean's Eleven. And it's yes. like, they, they were so, when I first moved to America in the early 2000s, that was how I defined how I was going to dress. Mm -hmm. So, and you keep that rocking alive. I love yeah, it. I have uh, no creativity. So I just copy the movie <laughs> every day of my life. So we have event of the year. Ken, please, would you do the honors? Of course, of course. Social media enabled the Bond community to come together. But it's the in-person, real-life events that often prove to be the most memorable mm -hmm. moments of our year. The Bond Community Event of the Year Award highlights the opportunities Bond fans have had in 2023 to meet up and celebrate the legacy of the books and movies we love together. This year, the nominees are the James Bond Concert Spectacular at the O2 by the music at the O2, the HMS Belfast Gala event in support of UNICEF by 007GB, the biggest James Bond fan club. Touring James Bond Jamaica by The Bond Experience. <laughs> Casino Royale 70 at Pinewood Studios by Bondstars.com. <laughs> before we get to the winner, I heard a rumor. Now, this is actually, you modeled for this award, is that correct? <laughs> well, that's to reduce the size of it. <laughs> oh, all right. And, uh, and the winner is... Here we go. I can't. I'm going to get, like, flam, <laughs> spittle all over my computer. And the winner is the James Bond Concert Spectacular at the O2 by Q the Music. 
I thought this was a landslide, but this was the event of the year, I think. I think everyone would agree with that. So very well deserved. This is a photo bomb oh, because yeah. I'm a huge <laughs> Q the Music fan, and I think it's well, well deserved. Yeah. 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 I'm going to take a quick picture for you, Warren. Ken, thank you so oh, much. Bro. Thank you very much. Right. We are nearing the end, I believe. Let's see. Who do we have now? Oh, next we have Woman of the Year. And unfortunately, the, the guest we had to read Woman of the Year was unable to join us. So do we have a substitution? Oh, yes, we do. Here we go. Give a round of applause for Joe coming back. Joe, thank you very much. You're welcome. I thought it was very appropriate for Woman of the Year Award to have a middle-aged white man did it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Woman of the Year. James Bond has become so much more than the world of just boys with toys. From Pussy Galore to Vesper Lynn to Judy Dench's M and many iterations of Money Pennies, the James Bond canon is fully loaded with strong female characters, and the Bond community is absolutely no different. The Bond community Woman of the Year was created to recognize the women within the Bond community who go above and beyond to help grow our community and bring us Bond fans closer together with their unique styles and approaches. One second before we go any further, Danielle Zaritsky was meant to, to be here to give this award, and she actually wrote all that, and we're very sorry that she can't be with us, but thank you very much, Danielle, for, for like, yes. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for making me sound good. <laughs> this year, the nominees are... Melanie from Burb, James Burb. <laughs> Natasha Stone, the Red Vesper, and membership manager from 007 GB, the British James Bond fan club. <laughs> Jocelyn Sia of Ladies Who Bond. <laughs> and Victoria Hodges, the VIP manager of 007 GB, the British James Bond fan club, and founder of the Bond Room Unlock online channel. <laughs> All right. And the winner is... Melanie Burb James Burb. Melanie is such a familiar face at all of these events. I'm sorry she couldn't be with. I think she actually got a better offer than being here. She's tonight. enjoying a, a, a 007 a New Year celebration that started a little early. Absolutely. So, good for her. Good for her. Melanie. There we go. Your bird has a new bird stand. Thank you very much, Joe. You're welcome. And finally, I think we have the final thing, which I decided. I was going to read myself. So. Here we go. <laughs> so, so we have man of the year um, and people call James Bond a lot of things. An alcoholic, a womanizer, and a symbol of toxic masculinity. I'm not sure, did we change this? But within the Bond community, however, we know the truth. James Bond performs on His Majesty's Secret Service. And he serves. He serves his queen, his country, and the greater good. And the Bond Community Man of the Year Award was created to recognize similar service within the 007 fandom, highlighting those who have served as leaders and ambassadors within the Bond community and helped make a positive impact beyond it. So this year, the nominees are David Zaritsky of the Bond Experience, <laughs> Warren Ringham of Cue the Music, Bill Dewhurst, president of 007 GB, the British James Bond fan club. Uh, and Tom Pickup of the Really 007 podcast. And the winner is, I can't do this. And can we have a drum roll, please? Oh, they're much better than me. Here we go. And the winner is David Zariski of the Bond Experience. Will you please join us one last time, David? Been seeing rather a lot of you tonight, sir. Yeah, a little too much overexposure. Anybody? <laughs> Thank you. No, thanks. Thanks for everybody. Twenty-seven hundred votes, right? You had yeah, twenty-seven hundred. Twenty-seven hundred votes. So and we, we and the, just for the record, like we, well, I am the only person behind this. We didn't have a community or anything. I just put the votes out there, and whoever won, won. And so I was surprised by some of the winners. I was delighted by all of them, though. So well, I'm I'm delighted to be in this grouping. And again, I keep going back to the nominees because I'm fans of these people. And, you know, Phil has done so much this year with restarting a dormant, a, a dormant club. And then the, the stuff that he's done for UNICEF and for charity has been unbelievable. The things that Warren has done for the bond community. Uh, I said to Warren at one point, you know, you, you should really think about charging 
a, a lot more for these types of concerts. And he goes, no, I want everybody to be a part of this. So that's the type of person that Warren is. And then, you know, Tom putting out this whole idea of pulling people together. I'm in awe of the people that were nominated. So I'm just happy to be a part of any aspect of it, truly. Well, well thank you so much, David. And Fair. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. By the way, I'm sorry, because I know this is probably towards the end. Roland, for this is his brainchild. This is your brainchild for putting this together. It's a bit of fun, frivolous yeah. fun that we put together, but you keep ramping it up, and, and thank you so much. Well, I'm excited for next year when hopefully it's going to be bigger and better, and we'll have uh, like all things together. But I just, <laughs> the reason I did this is because there are so many incredible creators within the Bond community. I know many of them. I don't know many others. And so by doing something like this, hopefully it gives the opportunity for everyone who's vaguely interested to discover new people they didn't have the opportunity to see before. Yes. And so, yeah. And we were going to pull me out of the man of the year. No more man of the year. Twice You're done. You're 86. I'm done. I'm done. So everybody nominate the people that you want next year. If you want yes. them in, nominate them and then vote. For and them. that's very important. Like next year when I run this, yeah. Any, if, nominate yourself, nominate the people you, you, you want. Just it's, you know, I can't, I can't change the number. Oh, uh, what are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> Fine. Well, anyway, this wraps it up. So thank you very much, everyone who has tuned in. Thank you, everyone who's joined me tonight. This is a wonderful way to end 2023. Thank you very much. We will see you in the new year for all sorts of extra stuff. So cheerio, leave plenty of comments. We really appreciate you all joining us. Bye-bye. Oh.